All right, so we're filling up the car right now. We're about to go to Universal mm -hmm. Studios Hollywood. We're gonna hop on the freeway, and I'm really hoping there's not a lot of traffic. Right now at City Walk, they just opened a brand new restaurant. It's a chicken restaurant, Janelle. Ooh, I'm chicken excited. Sandwiches. Yeah, that's what they sell. And we're gonna go into Universal Studios, and hopefully there's some new foods we can show you guys, but we're gonna have a great time, and we want you guys to join us on, on this magic, magic journey. Journeys. Here we go. Got our drinks. <laughs> time to go. So it looks like the Hard Rock is going to be converted into the Chocolate Emporium. Now they have one of these in Florida. Now they're going to have one here. I know, I'm so excited. They're chocolates and shakes. Oh my gosh. Oh Count yeah. Me in. This is going to be exciting. They're going to bring it here. This used to be the Hard Rock Cafe. Now it's going to be the Chocolate, the chocolate Emporium. Emporium. We're going to head over to this new chicken sandwich restaurant. I'm really hoping. This stuff is good. You want to see my impression of King Kong up there? Sure. Take this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, so Chick Chick Chicken, which is right behind me, they specialize in chicken, like chicken sandwiches, especially the hot spicy chicken sandwich, which I'm really, really craving. And it's outdoor dining, so you get the nice little cool breeze. Right now it's a little gloomy. I wish it was sunny, but today doesn't it? It does yeah. yeah so let's go get some food. I'm there hungry. it is. No, I think Janelle wants to try that Nashville hot and spicy chicken sandwich. Yes that's the one. Wow she's going bold today and I'm thinking I might get the Asian style chicken sandwich. That sounds pretty good right there. Yes and some fries and some coleslaw. Mm -hmm. All right so we got a little beeper here. We're just waiting for it to beep and then that means our chicken's ready. I'm really excited for this, guys. Seems like it's ready. All right, it's ready. <laughs> so we got our sandwiches right here. I love the boxes they come in. Look at this. This thing is huge. I know. Whoa, oh. where's your sandwich? This is yours, actually. Oh, this, this is, is my, the Asian oh, style. Oh, tradies. <laughs> here we go, we got a trade. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, so I got the Nashville hot and spicy chicken sandwich and then served with the brioche buns and coleslaw, hand breaded chicken. Now the funny thing is that you can actually like, level your spiciness you have hot hottest no hot hotter and hottest i got hot because i want to be able to taste the flavors of the chicken so here we go how do i bite this just go for it just go for it janelle oh my gosh this spicy chicken sandwich you guys the breading on the chicken itself is nice and light the inside of the chicken is moist but the flavor and the cajun spices on the chicken oh my gosh i'm actually really happy i got the hot because i feel like if i got hottest or hotter I wouldn't be able to taste the chicken. I would've just been like, oof. But this is delicious. The coleslaw itself is nice and creamy and crunchy for the extra texture. I'm in love. I love it, so enjoy. All right, so right here, this is the Asian chicken sandwich. Now this is crispy puffed rice chicken, Asian coleslaw, sriracha aioli, black sesame, and a brioche bun. Look at that huge piece of chicken. Wow, I can't wait to bite into this. I can't go this way, so I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Here we go. It's very sweet. Let me start off that way. It's sweet. The brioche bread is also sweet. I love the rice crispy on the chicken. It just has a nice little pleasant crunch, which is very cool. Coleslaw adds a nice little texture. It's not really spicy, but it does have a nice little kick, but it's mostly a sweet sandwich. And let me tell you, if you're here at the Chick Chick Chicken, chicken. <laughs> you're gonna love this sandwich. I think this is actually, I've tried Janelle's. I think this one's my favorite so far. I did buy some fries. They don't come uh, together, so if you're trying to buy your chicken sandwich, just remember, it's just a chicken sandwich. The fries are separate, but they are nice and crispy. They're just basic fries, nothing really special, but your chicken sandwiches, that's where it's at. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, that was so good. That was so good. If you ever hear the Chick Chick Chicken, try out that Asian-style chicken sandwich. Wasn't that the best that one? That was the best one. Oh. The chicken itself is nice and crispy, crunchy, and juicy. Oh, my gosh, you can go on and on, but get that, you guys. Trust me. So the first thing we had to do when we got to Universal Studios is we had to get our annual passes again. It's been a while since they expired. We're going to renew them. So the first thing we have to do is we have to come to the box office. So once we do that, we're going to get a lanyard with your annual passes, and we are good to go. So it's a bit crowded today at Universal Studios Hollywood, but I think we can manage, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. We got this. I kind of, I kind of want a butter beer from Hogwarts. Oh no. I know, but then with the sugar rush, oh no. We're in Hogsmeade. Woo! So right now we're at Honey Dukes, and they have interesting magical treats, and they look really, really awesome. So let's go check them out. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. 
Look now at that pretty cupcake. Now the struggle is to open it without <laughs> trying to drop it or like Dude, that's the worst. Up. When you're finally excited, <gasps> you open it and then it flings backwards and it's on <laughs> yeah, the it's ground. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this vanilla cupcake I just had to get. It's a little chocolate frog on top. It didn't say what flavor it is. It, I mean, obviously it looks like vanilla, but I don't know what the frosting is. I'm guessing strawberry just because it just said cupcake. <laughs> there we go. Yum. So I thought it was strawberry on top, but it's actually just vanilla frosting, but I think it's dyed pink for that little extra aesthetic. And that chocolate frog. Look at that. I'm just a chocolate. But the cupcake itself, it's nice, it's moist, and it's so spongy. Oh my gosh. That's too bad. It didn't have strawberry on top. Or like uh, some like, type of filling inside? That would yeah. be nice. Oh my gosh. That little or strawberry filling on the inside mm -hmm. with the strawberry frosting. Come on. Come on, Universal. Mm -hmm. no, but it's so cute nonetheless. <laughs> I was gonna get the butterbeer, but then I saw the line. I'm like, not today. That's for the butterbeer. So we're like, nah, let's just get a cupcake. It's not a cupcake. Besides, <laughs> it's so cute. Look, they're having some kind of party in here. <laughs> they're having a frosting party, you get it? Look, oh. you see the snowman? Oh, I see the frosting. Frosting, I get it. Snowman frosting, get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, all right. So because it's spring break right now, it's really busy at Universal yeah, Studios, but it's also very, very packed at Disneyland. We just went there about yesterday, or uh -huh. it wasn't the day before. It was really packed because so it's, packed. it is Saturday after all. It is popping off. And it's spring break, so <laughs> double whammy. I've never been to the Bumblebee Man's taco truck, and here I am next to a big giant taco. I want to try these out. I heard they're good, so let's find out if they really are good. Are the tacos that giant? Uh... I don't think it'd be in business if the tacos were that big. Oh, I wish. I would've just gone one and be like, ah. Now to show you guys how busy it is, the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is 75, the Simpsons is 80, Transformers is 90, the tram tour is 95 minutes, and the rent of the mummy is 100. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's a busy day today, all right. All right, so right here we have the carnitas tacos. You got some onions and cilantro. You got some green sauce over here, chili verde, and some chips. Now I'm gonna be honest here, they don't look too promising right now. That carnitas meat looks really dry. So I don't know, we'll see. Let's try it out. All right, let's put some lime on top. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's try this out. <laughs> there it is, street tacos. The meat's actually not too bad. It's pretty good, it's very flavorful. The salsa verde, surprise too. Very tasty, not too spicy, but the meat is a little dry. That's the only thing, it's a little dry. But I'm gonna tell you this, there is flavor there. And if this was a very moist, fresh piece of carnitas, it would be awesome. That's too bad it was dry, but dang, was it good. You're right, it is a bit dry, but adding that little piece of lime on top actually helped out a little bit, don't you think? But what do you think of the flavors? It's good. Right? Yeah, the flavors are there, it's just a bit dry. The meat is dry, that's yeah. the only thing, but it is pretty good. And if you I wanna get suggest... some tacos, try them out. <laughs> I would just ask for extra lime so you can just Add some juice in there. <laughs> a little more, yeah. <laughs> so it's been a while since we've been here to Universal Studios. So what we want to do, because the best thing here, honestly, is the studio tour. That's like the best thing they That's have the here. the star of the show. That's the star of the show. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Right now we're gonna go on the world famous studio tour. We're gonna get on a Universal Studios tram that's gonna take us into a 400 plus acre historic studio. And this is a working studio, guys. So we might see something, we might not, but the magic is inside there. So let's go check it out. You wanna sit right here? I never sat close before. Okay. I love the studio tram tour here at Universal Studios in Hollywood. It's like you're a part of the movie. <laughs> You get to experience things like earthquake. This is my favorite part of all time. You also get to see the picture cars inside. Very historic, by the way. And you also get to see the old backlot sets that, for me, really make my heart sing. My favorite part of the tram is the King Kong part. It always scares me. Like it kind of catches me by surprise every time. It always gets you. Yes. I'm gonna push this button. Don't do it. I don't think you're supposed to be pushing that. Uh oh. Oh, let's get out of here. 
<laughs> oh no, Janelle, you really did it now. I think I want to get a hat because first, it's a bit windy, and second, I think you got kind of messed up during the tram toll ride. Do you want to get one too? It was during that uh, Fast and the Furious part. <laughs> it was too like windy, right? I know. And I kind of want one of those hats to make you look like a director. Yeah. I kind of want that. Oh my gosh, you, know? you should get matching one. Well, let's go check them out. Let's They're at go. the store. <laughs> All right, we're walking into the studio store. Back to the future. Look at the Back to the Future merch, guys. Oh, I want two coats of wax this time. Now, Biff, don't con me. Marty McFly. Marty now McFly. Now tell me in the comments below. Back to the Future 1, 2, or 3. I Let think us one. know. <laughs> That's heavy. Whoa. Look at this little DeLorean with Marty McFly in it. What are these called? These are pokies? So it's kind of like... Like Funko Pops, I guess, but but not. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Kind of has like a 3D effect with the camera. It's like embossed. And then right here on the bottom, they have the Universal films. And uh, what's it called? Uh, Kung Fu Panda. There's King Kong. The Minions. Does it say Universal on it though? Yeah, the Studios. Right in the back. No way. Look at this hat. It looks like it's something straight out of the 90s. It's all ripped That's up. That's so cool. You've been through it, see? <laughs> Well, that's oh, what wait. happens when you have to go you through a theme on. park with dinosaurs in it. Got a little of a big head. There we go. <laughs> so you're at Jurassic Park. You just ran away from a bunch of dinosaurs. Yeah, your hat's going to look wait, pretty messy. You got to look like, ready? You have to shoot it like if I'm running, you guys. Right, ready? Go. Oh. Dang, if only this fit my pig melon, this would be it right here. <laughs> this would be it right here. What about this visor? What do we think, you guys? What do we think? Leave it in the comments. Really 90s. I like it though. Yeah? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I still like this one though. No, that, really that's, cool. yeah, you can't compete with that. <laughs> Not even close. I think you found, found one. It. That I think one's I found really it. cool. Right? Yeah. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, that one's actually really cool on you. It's like that neon sign right outside. It's iconic. Throwbacks. I love it. <laughs> now for you Jurassic Park fans, look at this. They got a Mr. DNA shirt. That is cool, dino DNA. Wow, and they also have a hat too. But I think I'm set with that neon sign hat. It's amazing. And look right over here, Mr. DNA socks too. Jurassic genetics. <laughs> and this is how you make a dinosaur. Dino DNA. They got a Jaws chocolate bar. Now this is flavored bar with caramel and sea salt. Jurassic Park, milk chocolate and candy bones. Wow, what is this? A milkshake bar. That's cool. I like these. We really love the Jurassic Park hat so much that we decided to buy two and we're going to be giving one away to one of you guys. So all you have to do is leave a comment below letting us know what your favorite Jurassic Park film is. Leave a like and that's it. You're entered into the giveaway and we'll let you know if you win. We will contact you and you will get this Jurassic Park hat. So all you have to do is let us know which is your favorite Jurassic Park film and leave a like. That's it. So we're about to go to the Irish pub. Mulligan's, should I say. There is a secret drink in there that we showed you about, oh, probably last year, the best foods that they have here at Universal Studios. Now, this is a secret drink. It's called the Jurassic Waters, and it's pretty dangerous. Let's go inside and check it out. There's so many layers in this drink. It's just it's gorgeous, guys. So at the Irish pub, they actually have a secret drink called the Jurassic Water. It has rum, tequila, gin, Midori Sour, what else am I missing? Vodka. Vodka. So basically the works and some Sprite in there to balance it out. But look at that, oh you guys. Oh my gosh. Cheers, Cheers guys. The Jurassic Waters. And you can get them right now at the Irish Pub. We did a video about this before. The best foods that you can get here at Universal Studios. Yes, yeah, so cheers. And cheers, you know. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. It is strong but sweet a little bit of citrus because i just added the lemon on there i like it it's fun but it is dangerous so you've been warned <laughs> into me. we're in the wizarding world of harry potter now at 9 p.m they light up the hogwarts castle so we're about to go check that out we're just trying to get through the crowds because pretty busy day today guys i'm excited for the light show i love harry potter oh my gosh let me know what house you're in let me know in the comments below i'm hufflepuff McVee is a Slytherin, half Gryffindor, but I'm pretty sure he's just a Slytherin. No. <laughs>
Saw that? Yeah, it's so cool. The Dementors. They're flying all over the place. <laughs> like in Harry Potter? Like in Harry Potter. No. I like in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go down into the lower lot because I want to check out the progress of Super Nintendo World that's opening up really soon. <laughs> now I remember my first game was Super Mario Bros. What was it yours? Super Mario World! Super Mario Yoshi. World? Yeah! I remember playing that too! And uh, that was my childhood also. <laughs> I know. Super I used Nintendo. To play my sisters all the time, so having Nintendo World is a childhood dream come true. Yeah, that's true. Best game ever though, Super Mario 64. Fight me. Yes. People are very excited for Super Nintendo World. It's it's gonna be finally open in 2023. So this is something that I can't wait for. We're gonna be immersed into the world of Princess Peach, Super Mario, Luigi, Yoshi. Oh man, that's gonna be so cool. And right now they're working on it, but the progress is moving fast. And let me tell you, they had great critical reviews over in Japan. Now this is gonna be the first Super Mario World open in the United States. And we all just can't wait for it to finally open. This is it! Good job. Five bucks, you put your hand in its mouth. Back it up, Blue. Right behind you, Janelle. It's okay, so I'm not holding food. But I think I am the food. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> well, there it comes. Show your teeth to the dinosaur. Oh my smile God. at your camera, just don't smile at her. It doesn't mean the same thing to her as it does to us. Oh no. That's most animals. Yeah. Uh -oh. Show your teeth. Show your teeth. Oh. I see you. you saw how big his teeth oh, were? Yes. Oh no. Hi. Come on in, right here. Right here. In group. group up. Oh, oh no. Ah, I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. Hey. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my god, so scared. He saw your hat. He wants it. I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. You hear that? That's a hunting call. You're about to lose your life. Jeez. I showed my teeth. <laughs> There's big old Megatron trying to steal the all spark. Out of my house. The Allspark belongs to me, and soon you will all be on your knees, shouting all hail, Lord Megatron! Ooh. I'm coming for you, Optimus Prime. Decepticons, transform and rise up! What a meanie. Decepticon, more like Decepticon. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of town. <laughs> so right next to Transformers, this is going to be the entrance to Super Nintendo World <laughs> opening 2023. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee. Back there. That's so cool. I really can't wait. There's Luigi over there too. Believe that? So we got a little hungry again. Yes. So we thought maybe we'd come and get ourselves some food at City Walk? Yeah, so they have Taco Bell right now. They have Ooh. The Panda Express. They also have the Habit. And they have the famous Pinks here. And they have KFC. They got a lot of stuff here. Ooh, pink sounds good. Pink on the papers. We were going to get Pinks, but they closed. They cut off the line. Now we have to find something else, and I don't want Taco Bell. I, especially, we have a long drive, so I don't want Taco Bell. Uh, Panda Express? I think so. Eh, that'll do. You get to know? I'm gonna get, I used to get a bowl with chow mein and own chicken, but I think I'm gonna change it up and get fried rice. I'm giving the fried oh, rice. All right, all right. See, I'm a steamed rice kind of guy. Chow mein and steamed rice is what I like. Janelle likes, you like the fried rice. I just try anything, actually. Yeah. Whatever sounds good to me in the moment, I'll get it. There you go. <laughs> So we left Universal for a bit because we got hungry and there's a lot of options here. There's the Habit, Panda Express, there's Pinks, there's KFC, Taco Bell, you name it. They probably have it, but I'm excited. <laughs> just simple stuff. Just simple. You know, it's just Panda Express. Nothing fancy today. But uh, yeah, I mean, there it is. I wanted steamed rice, but they ran out of steamed rice. Got from broccoli that Janelle just stole from me. <laughs> it's all right. And then orange chicken. I like it. Something simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
What an exciting day it was today. We got to try some delicious chicken sandwiches. Yes. Oh my gosh, you really need to go check those out because they're really good. So good. <laughs> and then we also got to uh, ride the studio tour. This is the first day we came back with our annual passes because we haven't had them for a while, so we're glad yeah. we finally have them back. That way we can make videos to help you guys out so you know what kind of foods they have at Universal mm -hmm. Studios. Today was just a day where we, we came in, had a good time, had, had a fun. good time, tried some new foods, and yeah. tried some old foods that we had before. Some food's great, some not so great. <laughs> <laughs> but we also had a great time again on the studio tour and we just want to say thank you guys for watching our videos Thank you for all the support you've given us yes. And if you guys do want to join that giveaway with the mm -hmm. Jurassic Park hat All you have to do again is leave a comment letting us know what your favorite Jurassic Park <laughs> movie is And leave a like and you're entered into the giveaway We just want to say we love you guys Thank you for everything you've done We'll see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys Bye, Bye.